this video, we take a look at perplexity. So what is perplexity? Well, it's kind of like ChatGPT. It's different, but it's similar to ChatGPT. And sometimes we look and use ChatGPT. We ask questions, we get answers, and we don't know where those answers came from. So if you're like me, I want to see actual articles. I want to see source information that I can sink my teeth into and be confident about what I'm reading. Perplexity is going to enable you to find those articles. So think of this uh, chatbot more or less like a souped-up Google search. So let's take a look and... You can see if you like it. I sure do. But uh, let's see what you think. Here we see perplexity. So you can actually just go on the internet and, and key in perplexity.ai and, and you'll get there. So once you're in the, the site, then you can go here and ask whatever questions you would like. So let's ask it, it a question. Please provide... A summary of SAS 145. And what you're going to see, and the thing I like the most, it, is it gives you articles or links to articles at the very top. So if I want to see what the, the AICPA says about SAS 145, I can go right there, and there's the actual document for SAS 145. If I want to look at Charles Hall's article about 145, I can go there. And, and there's other articles here like Thompson Reuters, I can go there and take a look at, at that article. So Here's the links to the articles, which is what I'm most interested in. When I see answers like this, I like that, but sometimes I'm curious as to whether or not this is accurate. If I can actually go to the Thompson Reuters article here and look at it, then I'm going to feel much better about what I'm looking at. If I see information like this with no links, then I'm a little less sure that what I'm looking at is correct. Uh, just so you can see what else is available here, if you ask a question, you want to clear the screen, just click Home. That takes you back here where you can ask questions. Something in interesting here is you can upload PDF files by clicking here. So if I click there, it takes me to my desktop and I can start uploading documents. Now, if I go to my threads, you can see where I've asked prior questions. So if I ask a question two or three days ago and I want to go back and look at that, I can go there. If I go to AI Profile, you have uh, the option here to provide perplexity with information about who you are then based on that information it's going to give you more appropriate answers for the type of work that you do so i've told it i'm a cpa i'm a certif certified fraud examiner and based on that information when i ask a question here it's trying to give me answers that would be appropriate to my needs so that's helpful so I hope you'll go and give this a try. And all you need to do is go to perplexity.ai. Uh, it's free at this time, so why would you not at least give it a go? And, you know, there may be a charge later on, but right now it's free. I think you'll like it. I think you'll have more confidence in the answers that you receive. So until I see you in the next video, take care and bye now.